Hello friends, today I am going to start my 12 inch mirror grinding. And here you can see two circular shaped glass which I have cut with my homemade machine. One is for mirror blank and one is for grinding tool, glass tool. It is 8 mm thick. So it is very thin and here you can see what I need to start mirror grinding one flat wood piece like this and attach three piece of wood at a difference of 120 degree I take a bowl of water a sprinkler and abrasive 80 grade abrasive which I will start with 80 grade abrasive first I place three piece of cotton cloth on the wooden platform like this and then I place my grinding glass tool on it and this is my mirror blank And now I am going to start rough grinding with 80 grit carborundum powder. and this is called overhang of the mirror at the beginning it should be around 40% of the mirror diameter my mirror is 12 inch so it is around 5 inch so let's start this is called caudal stroke My mirror is very thin, only 8 mm, so I am not going to put too much pressure on it, like this, and always maintain 40% overhang while grinding. And after 15 to 20 strokes, rotate the tools little bit anti-clockwise and then rotate the mirror little bit clockwise. Like this. And draw the mirror again at 40% overhang.
after few hours of grinding at 40% overhang now i am going to reduce the overhang and this is 80 grit carburetum powder always sprinkle water this is very important Before it was 40% overhang, that is 5 inch overhang. Now I am going to reduce the overhang to around 25%, that is around 3 inch overhang. This is called caudal stroke. My mirror is very thin so I am not going to put too much pressure on it while grinding. I put a mark on my mirror to know when my mirror completes one rotation. When I feel my abrasive get smoother, then I add some more fresh abrasive. After 3 to 4 rotation of the mirror, I wash the mirror and tool properly. After few hours of grinding, I keep the mirror over the tool, pouring little bit water in between them and you can see a big air bubble at the center. That means the mirror and the tool are not matching perfectly.
and now I am going to grind the mirror with 10% overhang. and you can see the center air bubble come to reduce now sprinkle little water on the mirror surface and check the focal length by sun method if the focal length is too long then go again for caudal stroke from 40% overhang I got my targeted focal length now I am going to grind it 0% overhang that is center over center stroke or COC stroke this is COC stroke and this overhang should be one sixth of the mirror diameter. My mirror is 12 inch, that is one sixth of 12 inch, that is 2 inch, around 2 inch. This is COC stroke, you can see. After few hours of grinding with COC stroke, you can see no air bubble at the center. That is my mirror and tool are perfectly matching. So now I will go to the next grid that is 120 grit. And before to start with the next grid, I take fresh water and wash the whole setting thoroughly. and this is called center over center stroke or coc stroke or normal stroke and i will stay with this normal stroke for my next whole grinding and polishing process
After one hour of grinding with 120 grit, I checked the transparency of the mirror in front of a light source. And I noticed that the transparency is increased. So I go to the next grid, 220 grid. Before going to next grid, I wash the whole setting thoroughly once again. This is 220 grid. And after another one hour of grinding with 220 grit, I checked the transparency of the mirror and I noticed that the transparency is increased. So here is the end of my rough grinding process and I will go to the next fine grinding process with 320 grit. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel to watch the full process of the telescope making.